Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a favorites video and I thought that for the favorite videos, Roman would join me, right? You wanna do the videos with mom? Do you wanna do the videos? So we're gonna do them together. Today, Roman is six months as of December 2nd and we are gonna go through things that have been his favorite um, recently. I know I've missed the past six months. I could have been doing these videos, but some of the stuff that he was born and liked, he still likes now, so they'll be included in the video too. So I'm gonna start off first of all, Roman, Roman, don't eat that. This toy is by Obal. These are great toys, this whole collection and line for babies. Um, he really, really likes this one, although right now he's been playing with it since I've been setting up the video and I think he's kind of bored with it now. Can we play with this? Um, he just, he likes the sounds, he puts it in. The only thing I have to say that sometimes concerns me is that these parts stick out, like the yellow and green ones, stick out a little too much. So sometimes he ends up gagging himself with it because he pushes it so far into his mouth. Um, so when he does play with this, I'm very close by at all times. And um, usually he laughs at it. It's never, he never throws up or anything. What? Do you want to say something about it? Nothing? Okay. Moving on. Uh, the next thing is, I'm showing a sample of it. This is the Boudreaux's Butt Paste Diaper Rash Ointment. This has been my absolute favorite um, ointment for him. I have the Penitin or whatever it is, a few other ones, but this seems to be the only one that really clears up the redness. He's never had a rash, but it's just, sometimes it's a little red down there. And um, I don't know if it's from using too many wipes or changing him and wiping him constantly, but this has been my favorite and I, uh, I'm lucky enough to have worked in a doctor's office where they gave me a ton of samples. You can ask your doctor, most family physicians have these um, as samples that they can give to you. And the great thing is you keep them in your diaper bag so when you're on the go. The baby shusher. This, in the beginning, was a lifesaver for me. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, oh, is that a real thing? I should probably get one. Yeah, and so basically it does a 15 minute half, no, what is this? 15 minutes or half an hour sound, and then you can adjust the volume here. So this is what it sounds like. And usually what it does is it soothes a crying baby because it reminds them of being in the womb. And when they're crying hysterically, this will calm them down and apparently put them to sleep within minutes. Now, in the beginning when I was just at my wit's end, I couldn't sit with him anymore. He just kept crying. He didn't want to sleep. I would put this in his room and lay it next to him, not this close to him, but probably down at the end of his feet or up above his head pointing towards him. And he would fall asleep within like minutes. So I think it was about $30, but I bought it on eBay for maybe 20. Total, total, great item, total, total, totally great item. I thought it was worth it. Do you remember this? The next thing that he seems to really like is this blanket. This was handmade, um, but I think you could find them on Etsy and most stores carry them. My brother-in-law bought this for him. Um, and it's just all these little tags that when he sees them, and today he's really not into anything and he might still be tired. Um, he usually loves to grab at all of them and of course he's putting all of them in his mouth. Do you want one of them? Do you want one? Nope, I guess not. Okay, but Roman's first two bottom teeth came out when he was about four and a half months, maybe, yeah, four, four and a half months. So I have been using this Camilla um, teething medication, painful gums, restlessness, irritability. It's kind of like a holistic medicine, so there's nothing really in it that you could overdose them with or that's bad for them. Um, and this has been a lifesaver. I give it to him and he loves the taste of it. There is no taste, I tried one. Um, and it says here, no sugar, no dye, no preservatives. Sterile and drinkable unit doses. So what happens is, I usually keep a sleeve. Actually, that's not a full sleeve. That's not either. I break them off. There's usually five or six in a row. And I break one off and you twist the little tip off and then you just kind of squeeze it into his mouth. Like these break right off. Um, and within, you know, five minutes, he's no longer biting aggressively on his hands. He's not pulling on his ear anymore. So these have been really, really great. Up until recently, Roman got sick when we entered the month of December, actually end of November. And so I bought this, which was a cold medicine. I noticed his nose was really um, stuffy and his nose was super stuffy. So I ended up giving him uh, one of these. It's called Corizalia, 
by the same company, Boy Run. Um, and these are for nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. Also, no sugar, no dye, no preservatives. Sterile and drinkable unit doses. Same kind of thing that um, the Camilla, Camellia comes in. And these have been great. Again, both holistic, homeopathic, not holistic. I'm sorry. They're homeopathic medicines used to relieve pain and teething and colds and things like that. So these have been super great. I think they're about $10 for 15 and then $15 for 30. So it's almost like a dollar a unit. And I use only one a day. I know it says you can use, um, how many? You can use a lot. You can use, repeat at 15 minute intervals up to three unit doses for a total of 12 units per day. And this one for a total of, it doesn't, it says one unit dose at the onset of symptoms three times per day. So you can use them quite a bit, but I only use them once a day and that's about it. This is another one of Roman's Mickey favorite toys. I found this, I hunted it down everywhere. It's by Kids Preferred and it's the Mickey activity toy. So he's got scrunchy feet, a little ball, some rings with little strings attached to it. His ears have little crinkle paper and these are for teething. So on one side it's dots, the other lines. And then he makes this bell sound and he hangs from his carrier. Roman really likes this one. He didn't in the beginning. He's only started liking him now, um, only because I should probably put this belt as the favorites in the favorites video because he seems to be enjoying it more than anything on this favorites table. Um, so other than that, he's loved this Dumbo since he was a baby. It was the first toy I got him um, because I, I want everything to be Disney for him, but I don't want it to be the generic like Mickey Mouse stuff. So he has like a little bit of every kind of character, like the genie. Um, Pain and Panic from Pain and Panic from Hercules, um, just everything. Like I get him all the rounded, anything I can get my hands on that's not your typical Mickey Mouse. So this Dumbo is actually a Dumbo soother, and it hooks onto the crib or to your car seat, whatever you'd like. And it has three sounds at the back. Let's turn this on. And this has been Roman's favorite song. Is that your friend? Is that Dumbo? So this has been his favorite. Then there's this awful stuff. And so there's rain on a windowsill and then lightning and rain. And I don't play either of those for him. I just play this one. And he loves it. So yeah, is that Dumbo? Dumbo. Do you want to play with him? The next thing is his, my favorite thing are these bibs. I actually bought a few bibs for Roman. These are the Tommy Tippy bibs and they're my favorite because they have like this um, thicker neckline. So the dribble stops at the neck and doesn't seep down to his shirt. Um, now these were two for $8. I ended up making a ton myself. So these have been part of my favorite because I literally use them for everything. And if you want to see a tutorial on how to make these, I'll link it down below. The next thing is I went to a pottery place with my best friend and our two sons, Roman and Rio, um, ended up, we did butt paintings for them. So they stamp the baby's butt onto a plate and they create a character to go um, along with it to kind of disguise it. And so we had Dumbo made since Dumbo was his first toy. And I had all his information written around. And then on the back of this, um, I wrote the I'll love you forever. Um, I'll love you forever chorus from the storybook. And yeah, it's, it turned out awesome. I'm not sure what I used it for. I kind of just like put his like necklace, his teething necklace in it um, when I take it off to bathe him or change him and stuff. So it goes in here. Then I have the Sonia Kashuk. This was actually a makeup bag, but I bought it because I was looking for something that instead of carrying a huge second bag with my diaper bag when we go to the mall, I wanted a small bag that has a ton of compartments that I could throw in the things I need at the mall. For example, in this big pocket here, I have, um, I don't usually keep his diapers in here. I usually keep them in here. A, a change of clothes, there's extra pockets right there, two more pockets and a zip pocket. Then there's side pockets on the inside, like it's almost like a miniature diaper bag. Um, so I keep a change of clothes, socks, everything in here. Then two side pockets to put anything else, two more side pockets, 
And then you've got this. Roman, one second, bud. We're almost done. Then this pocket here, which I keep like a little um, Bath and Body Works air freshener because you never know. So this has been super, super great to take with me because, you know, I just take this and throw it into the bottom of the stroller and it doesn't take up any room and it has everything I need. Someone's getting fussy. It's time to go, right? Is it time to go? Why don't we tell everybody thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our video, guys, and I uh, hope... That was Mickey. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye?